solid pitching, excellent defense, and one huge swing of the bat in the first inning by catcher Envy Duran, who launched a monstrous three-run homer into the trees to score the only runs of the game as top-seeded Weehawken defeated the number three seed Whippany Park on Saturday afternoon, giving the Indians their second consecutive NJSIAA North Jersey Section 2 Group 1 Championship. You're obviously over the soreness from the other day with those foul tips. That was quite a shot you hit yes. in the first inning. Just talk about that swing and just how that carried the team through the game. Really, um, getting ahead first was a huge deal because we knew this team would be like a good competition. So getting ahead first gave us the momentum to just like stay in the game throughout the whole entire thing. And it was huge. Very exciting. What does this mean? This is three titles. You know, you won the county championship, you won the regular season, now you won the sectional. You're going on. This is going to continue into the next round on Tuesday. Yes. Uh, what does this mean to you girls? This is absolutely huge. We made history right now, and it's just great. And then for us to go all the way, it's like crazy to know. And last year, we were very close. And then this year, we just have to take it all the way. It's very nice. How much does this crowd support from the people of the township mean to you guys? They are very supportive, and it's very great to know that we have support on our sides because we are the underdogs in all of this, so we were. And then it's good having support all around. That three-run um, home run that MB hate, like I, it takes a big pressure off my shoulders because, like, um, I like to have those insurance runs, like knowing I can go on the mound, give up a run, and still have runs and, to keep us up. Um, I think MB like has really been like trying hard in practice and everything. So I think it was a great shot on her part, and I think that she's really helped it out in the in the top of the game too. So it's good. I've got to ask you, I noticed in your pitching motion, a lot of pitchers, a lot of batters, and then any level of, of yeah. softball or baseball have things that they do. When you release the ball, not only do you slam your glove into your leg, yeah. you slam the glove into your inner thigh. How yeah. did you ever start doing that? Um, and is it, does it mean anything? <laughs> does it help you in any way? I'm not sure if it necessarily helps. I mean, for me, I think it builds momentum. So it's like if I come down on this leg, then this arm will like whip through. But it's mainly like what I've been doing, like I've been pitching since I was like six, seven years old. So like I've literally, like it's just a habit that I've developed. And a lot of people in Weehawk can like point it out too and I just like, I don't know. But at this point I'm so used to it, it doesn't even really hurt. I think it's safe to say that you are probably the most hyper person in Weehawken's dugout. I mean, it's really interesting to watch. I mean, you're right on top of everything. How did you get to be so to so be so vocal in, in your coaching style when the team is in the field? Well, I'm a very like energetic type of person, and honestly, I, I want it more for the kids than like I can ever express. So it's like me wanting that for them that I just like get excited because I know their potential, I know what they can do, and um, I want them to feel that type of accomplishment. So like I try to be over like you got this, you can do this. But I think it's just in my personality to be extremely outgoing, extremely loud. I am a phys ed teacher, and uh, I think being that job and having that job, it's like takes part in this as well. Our team chemistry, I think, is our biggest strength on this team. I think the fact that the girls actually enjoy being around each other and are all friends outside of softball is a tremendous help because they, they know they're supported. Um, they have so much fun in practice, it's actually hard to gather them together sometimes and get them to focus. But um, but I think their team chemistry is excellent. Uh, that really helps in games like this because they know they have to pick each other up. They know when someone's down. They know like what to say to each other. So I think that's that's huge. Um, Envy's Envy's hit uh, couldn't be timed any better, literally and figuratively. Um, you know she's definitely a powerhouse, and I think most teams know like if you give her the wrong pitch or let one hang, like she's gonna take advantage of it. And to come out in the first inning and do that, like as a coach, as someone who's like anxious and worry, you know, concerned and worried about this game, I think that's, um, that's like a little bit of a deep breath for me. I did not take a breath until the game ended, but, uh, but to get ahead early is definitely, uh, definitely what we want. <laughs> Doesn't always happen, but that's definitely what we want. I don't know if it's appropriate for a guy to classify a young lady as a stud, but mm -hmm. Envy's a stud. She's a stud. She's, She's a stud. definitely a stud. <laughs> and it just seems like, I mean, you've got the three sisters, the legitimate sisters on the team, but it seems like all of these girls seem like their sisters as one. Of course. They've known each other. I think their parents are best friends. They've been playing together since they were little. Um, and the fact that, like, four out of nine girls on the field have been playing together forever, like, you obviously see that. Um, 
But, you know, the other girls honestly are like living at, you know, the McHale's house. They hang out with Envy outside of school and they do all these things. So it's, you know, it's more like a fan, like to, to be very cliche, it's, it's really like a, like a family. So. Weehawken now faces Essex County champ Cedar Grove on Tuesday, June 6th at 5 p.m. at Waterfront Park. Reporting for Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.